As promised, I'm going to be making a major announcement this morning. Hi, this is Randy Kirk. And if you're all about Tesla and you like Tesla information, then listen to what I'm going to be talking about this morning. I am a Tesla news junkie. What about you? <laughs> I, because I'm an investor, partially because I just enjoy it, partially because it's so interesting and intriguing to be following Elon Musk and all of his exploits, but mostly because I'm an investor, I need the news and I need it now. I need the news becomes the way that I can arbitrage against the big guys. Let's face it. The big guys have massive capabilities at their fingertips. They have, you know, assistants and research people uh, that can go out and spend the time and spend the energy to dig stuff up. They can trade faster. They have all these different advantages over us in the marketplace. So as a single stock investor, or even if you invest in many different stocks, but if you're invested in Tesla, the only advantage that you can get over these institutional investors and the, and the, and the whales and, and the folks with lots and lots and lots of money to spend on their investing to get inside information is legally, the only way we can fight against them is to be ahead of them on the news and the analysis. So there's lots of ways to do that. One of the ways you can be ahead on the analysis, of course, is to follow this channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, you should subscribe. You can be part of Patreon. That's another way because I do things on Patreon that I don't do here on the YouTube channel. But the reality is there's a bunch of us. There's a there's me and there's Stephen Mark Ryan and there's Dave Lee. And, you know, you can go down the, the list of the individuals who provide analysis that I think for some crazy reason, the major uh, institutions aren't following. They may be following us a little bit. I don't know for sure, but I don't think they're following us a lot. The result is that you're getting a certain advantage by following one or more of us YouTubers uh, in order to get your news uh, faster, to get the analysis different than what the CNBCs and the other financial news folks are providing. That's the second thing. The news that's being offered by Barron's in insider uh, inside trading and uh, some of these other uh, co uh, companies out there that are providing, you know, just the regular CS, CBSs and NBCs, these people are providing you with horrible news. <laughs> They're not, when I say horrible, I don't mean that it's just horrible. I mean that it's just not correct. It's it, They try to be ahead of the news. They try to be as fast as they possibly can. They get it wrong. Uh, but they also just get it wrong because they're not in depth. Uh, as someone who has been doing, who's been writing uh, nonfiction for almost my entire adult life, it's really, really hard to get it right, to get it correct. That's why I wrote the book, The Elon Musk Mission, is because it's so hard to find correct information. I wanted to provide you with a resource where you could go to it and know that the information was correct. So this information before it was printed was vetted by 50 individuals. So you can count on that being correct information. But you, I know you do this every day. I do the same thing. You're reading something on CNBC or something on Barron's or something even on the Wall Street Journal. And you're going, oh my gosh, this is so wrong. And the reason it's so wrong is because the, the, the reporter doesn't have time to do the in-depth analysis that's necessary to really fully understand what they're talking about. So they get it completely wrong. So... Number one, you want better information. You want information that is correct. You want information that's well analyzed. You want information that's fast because you see the stock all of a sudden drop five points or go up five points and the rest of the market isn't moving. And you're like, I want to know what's going on. And I would, uh, in the early days, when I first started doing this, I would go, what in the heck is going on? Why is it that uh, the market moves and I don't know about it? I can't find out what's going on. I talked to Rob Maurer and Rob said, you know, what you need to do is you need to be on Twitter. And I, I was not on Twitter at that point. So I jumped on Twitter. And of course, I found out that that is by far the fastest way to get news. Now, it's not always correct. Uh, obviously, there's a whole bunch of folks on Twitter and a lot of them don't know what they're talking about or they don't know what they're talking about that day. I'm sure I've been uh, guilty. Uh, so you jump into the fray, you say what you think is right, uh, and it turns out not to be true. So, but Twitter at least gives you a really, really fast response to it. Probably 
might be affecting the market on any given day. That, that's great, but it's not in depth and you don't know the you don't know whether to trust the analysis. So you don't know what to do about the stock market move. It's dropped five points. Is that a is that going to stay? Is it going to get worse? Is the news that's come out that's caused the five point drop something that you can uh, assume is correct? And therefore, maybe you back away from the stock for a while until things sort out. Or was it completely wrong? Fake news a fire, a Tesla fire that wasn't really even a Tesla, you know, something like that. And so, you know, um, this is not something to rely on and it's something you could actually bet against. You can actually buy in at the lower number because you know that as soon as the true news comes out, it's going to start going back up. Um, the uh, investor day the other day, the news, the news from all of the regular media is pathetic. It's pathetic. They are following exactly what you think they're trying that what they're following oh they didn't give us any information about the the look of the new uh dollars car no in-depth reporting no analysis like i've been providing you the last couple of days and Stephen mark ryan and dave lee and others have said they gave you everything you needed to know they gave you the foundation instead of giving you the tip of the iceberg the drawing that may turn out not to be the car at all they gave you everything of the iceberg itself, all the details of how they're going to get to where they're going to go. And then pretty pretty much you can assume that the car is going to look good. <laughs> and if it doesn't look good, and it's and then they'll know it within a few days of publishing it, people will tell them. So um, I think, uh, uh, you know, you've seen it. You've seen this over and over and again. I want to give you another resource and I need your help to do that. This is something that's been on my heart and mind for a very long time. And um, so this new resource, I want to announce it today. Uh, it's not going to be live for probably two to four weeks because I need to develop it and I need some money to develop it. I have money, but I don't, I'm not in the position in this time of life to spend risk capital. I have a little risk capital, as you know, I buy some leaps. That's my play money but I don't want to put a bunch of risk into a new business right now. Just started this YouTube channel four months ago. That was a risk. Um, I just uh, uh, you know, started uh, investing in um, some other uh, projects right now. I have a, a couple of new products going up on uh, Amazon. Uh, very, very, very low risk. And so in this particular case, I'm just not interested in taking the risk. The risk I'm assuming will be just about $5,000 a month. But let me tell you what it is. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. What I'm going to provide is going to be a news page. It's going to be a lot like the Drudge Report. If you know the Drudge Report, you know it's three columns of very tightly headline, subheadline, headline, subheadline that's dealing with every kind of subject matter from around the world and from around the U.S. and on every kind of uh, category you can think of. Well, this is going to be like the Drudge Report, maybe not formatted exactly the same, but similar formatting, but it won't be, uh, it'll be 100% Tesla and Elon Musk news. That's all that's going to be there. But like the Drudge Report, it's going to be updated multiple times per day. So I'm going to, the big expense, the reason it's going to cost $5,000 a month is I'm going to be hiring individuals to find this information and then to post it rapidly. So it's not ever going to be as fast as Twitter, but it is going to be more accurate than Twitter because we're going to take a minute. <laughs> so, so the the if the uh, news information will be curated from all over the web, from all over the world, any place that we can find it: YouTube videos, Twitter, uh, uh, you know, uh, subreddit, uh, all kind all kinds of different places. Any place that we know of, the places that I commonly go for news. We're going to go and we're going to find this news. We're going to dig it out. In fact, we're going to even encourage you to send us the news as well. If you find some a news item that you think we need to know about, we'll have a location where you can send that news so that we can now uh, go out and, and get it. But I, I can't do this all myself. I have six other businesses to run, um, and this will just be a seventh business. I can't be the one that's curating all this news. I can't be the one that's finding it and then posting it, and then analyzing it, and making sure it's right. I can't, I just don't have time to do all that. 
Um, so I'm going to be hiring individuals um, to, to find it. And then if it's clear and clean, to immediately post it. If there's a question mark on whether it's clear or clean, to send it to me so that I can do a two minute, five minute, whatever analysis, and then throw the analysis up with the news item. So if uh, um, uh, some of our favorite uh, uh, <laughs> providers out there, like Bloomberg, for instance, that gets it right all, gets it right none of the time. Um, if Bloomberg has an article, and it's 80% wrong, will then curate. I will then go in, I will read it, I will make it, I will uh, analyze that, and I will give, you know, maybe a paragraph that says, this part is just incorrect, here's what's correct. So there will be an analysis on those items that are, in, that are not correct. Uh, we will have a list of YouTube major channels, channels of value, channels that give consistent value to the community with regard to Tesla, and with regard to uh, anything uh, Elon Musk. Uh, these will include folks that provide tax advice and, and direction, tax advice, <laughs> financial advice, in other words, stock advice, will include some of those as well if we think that they're providing good, consistent information. And again, sometimes those might be, uh, there might be some analysis that goes with those. Um, they, those, will, those will not be put up 15 times a day or 20 times a day, what they will do is we'll have the most recent one showing. And then if there's one that's particularly newsworthy that is actually breaking news, then that will go into the news section in addition to the fact that it'll be listed consistently um, as part of the page. And there'll be other things like that too. There will be uh, um, uh, other kinds of regular columns, uh, regular podcasts, uh, regular Reddit or subreddit stacks, um, you know, et cetera, et cetera that will be listed on a regular basis uh, and then updated on a daily basis or even more than daily basis. So it, obviously it's gonna cost some money to have these individuals who will be posting, I would guess um, probably as many as six to 12 times a day, the information on, on our page will be new, will be fresh. That doesn't mean everything will be fresh. It means some of the information will be fresh. If you follow Drudge, you know, you can go on, you know, five times a day, get new headlines, get new information of that frequently. Okay, so that's what it's gonna look like. And there is going to be in the upper right-hand column, there is gonna be a founders section and it's gonna list you if you choose to be a founder. I'm looking for about 100 founders. And that's basically gonna be the folks that are gonna found and, and fund the, the, the channel, the opportunity, the, the new page, the news page. I need about $5,000 a month to get this thing done. And so 50 or $100, that's what I'm asking for from you, a minimum of 50 to be on the founders page. And, and it'll be listed, the $100 folks will be first, then the $50 folks will be after that. And it'll be top of the page will be the first person that says go. First person that sends $100, the first person that sends 50. How do you send it? You send it through Patreon. You will be, it will be deducted immediately. This will not be something to be deducted next month. I'm setting it up today to where these will be immediate deductions from now on, but it'll all be through Patreon. So if you're interested, my Patreon uh, can, uh, link is, is below in the information. All you go do is go to Patreon. It's the plaid version. So you set up under plaid and you either pledge $100 or you pledge 50. And as soon as you pledge it, the money will be reduced and you will be first in line if you're first and then second and third and fourth. And as long as you're part of the founders group and, and <coughs> contributing that amount once per month, then you will stay in position. And you can also, uh, this will be tax deductible. I, I'm not a tax advisor, but if you're uh, trading stocks and you need news fast, you, you have subscriptions, you have other things that you do that you subscribe to that give you the information you need to make good trading decisions, then you take a deduction uh, as a subscription that's helping you doing that. So uh, uh, you'll be able to take that as a deduction. Uh, you may also wish uh, there'll be a second line if you wish. Uh, you might put your company name or your, uh, your uh, dot com, uh, you know, your URL. I'll give two lines to each person as they wish if you want to sort of advertise your company at the same time. So that's what it is. It's a news page. 
I need 100 founders. Um, I need less than that, actually. I'm really looking for 5,000 a month. Now, eventually, I'm going to be charging $25 a month for this, for people to see this news. And if that turns out to be too much, I don't care. I'll lower it to 15. I'll lower it to 10. I really want it to be a service that a wide swath of our friends in the community can use and, and benefit from. Um, so we'll we'll lower it to whatever the cost is that makes sense for the most people to get involved. That's what I'm really after is to is to provide a great service. So tell me what you think. Put comments down below if you think I'm crazy. Put comments if you think that this is a great idea or in between. Maybe you have thoughts on how it should be done better or, or things that I could do to make it uh, easier. Maybe you'd like to be a person that provides news on a regular basis. Please let me know that. I can't, I'm not going to be paying for that. I'm going to be using uh, very inexpensive um, individuals, virtual assistants type people uh, in order to do this news gathering. But maybe you'd like to just, uh, out of the goodness of your heart, you'd like to be someone who specializes, let's say, in, in the news in Europe or the news in Australia or the news that's coming out about Tesla in China. That'd be great. Love to have a few folks like that on board, but that will not be a, a paid position. Okay, there it is. There's the announcement. If it, if it fails, if it, maybe nobody cares. Maybe nobody will be interested at all and we won't do it. It's okay. I'm throwing it out there. Um, let me know. And uh, the Patreon information is down below for you to do so. Okay, it's been great talking to you today.